Hello and welcome to another in this series of how to make videos uh, which I hope uh, are a source of ideas for teachers and teaching assistants in primary and middle schools. Uh, here at Ivydell I run an after school uh, design technology club for year two and three and we've got the, we're at the last session coming up tomorrow. Uh, it's coming near, it's nearly Christmas so I thought we'd make something Christmassy. Um, and here's how to make an animated snowman. Uh, if you go on my website, next to the link for this video, you'll find uh, the two templates that I've designed to make the snowman. Uh, they're .pdf files, they're, they're available free. Uh, one of them's got the four main body parts on, and one of them has got the linkages that are going to link the parts together. In fact, on this second template, there are enough parts to make two snowmen. Um, the first thing you do is to photocopy these templates onto card. Try and get the thickest card you can through your photocopier. Um, our photocopier I can get 360 micron card through um, and photocopy the linkage template uh, as well onto card. Um, next thing that I'm planning to do is to ask them to um, colour in their main body parts, the, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the buttons, the hat and the scarf. <clears throat> Next thing that needs doing is we need to punch out these holes and I've designed the template so the holes are near the edge so hopefully my hole punch can actually reach the holes. Now, um, as I've said before in this range of videos, um, I don't like using special equipment because primary schools probably haven't got it. Um, but for this one, you really do need a hole punch. And the best one to have is this one that makes a 5mm hole. And it's produced by Maun Industries, M-A-U-N. Um, this one's a little bit more common. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it makes a slightly bigger 6mm hole which is only just uh, small enough for these paper fasteners. Uh, you can get paper fasteners with uh, bigger heads. Um, I've had this for well over 20 years and I can highly recommend it. It's very powerful. It can even punch holes through uh, lolly sticks. So the next thing we're going to do is to punch these holes out. Uh, when I run the club, I'm probably going to have given these sheets with the holes already punched out. It doesn't take long. That one there is not quite lined up, but I think it will be okay. And then two more in the other arm. And then while I've got the hole punch, I may as well do the um, linkages as well. Uh, don't forget on this sheet there are enough for two snowmen but I'm going to do them all while I'm here and two more and a little bit more prep to do there are two slots in the snowman's body uh, and these need cutting with a sharp craft knife. Again I'm going to do this for them. I don't normally get year two and three loose with craft knives. Always when you use a craft knife always use a safety mat and a safety ruler. It just needs two cuts there and there. I don't know if you can see that we've got two, two slots there. Um, next thing to do is to cut out those four main parts. We've got the body, the two arms and the head. We don't need the head till, till the very end so we'll put that to one side. With the linkages you cut out two of the links and the um, control strip uh, this card needs to be a little bit stronger, so I'm going to fold it over to get double thickness. So to do that, score the dotted line down the middle with a blunt knife, or I, I use a screwdriver. 
like that. Then cut out the strip, glue the two uh, halves together with, uh, you can use prick glue or glue gun to form a double thickness uh, strip. I call it a control strip. So there's our linkages that's going to connect up the uh, parts of the snowman. To assemble the snowman you need five paper fasteners and it's best if you can find the shorter 13mm ones. The 20mm ones tend to get in the tangle. Now I keep changing my mind about the order that this is assembled. Uh, currently I've tried to label the holes with letters to make it really obvious. So let's put all the, D, the D's together. The two holes marked D on the linkages with the hole mark D on the control strip and join them together with a paper fastener bend the legs over <coughs> make sure they move don't worry if it's a little bit tight normally I'd worry if it's too tight but for in this design it doesn't seem to matter then turn it over and slide the um, strip through those two slots that you cut so that the strip covers up the uh, instructions there. Um, I've since changed the template a bit. You can see some of the writings poking out there. Uh, in the final template uh, you can't see the writing. So there's your control strip sliding up and down. We're now going to fit the arms and we're going to have one arm here and you use the lower hole Okay, uh, pass the paper fastener through from the back. I've just noticed something. I'm going to turn that round. You're probably wondering why. Um, it's because if you have the head of the paper fastener inside, it slides more easily. So have all the legs of the paper fasteners facing towards the back. I hope you spotted my deliberate mistake there. So we get one arm, pop the paper fastener through and bend the legs over. Okay, you see that? And then the same with the other arm. So we're using the lower of the two holes in the arm to connect it to the body. There's the two arms connected. And now we're going to connect the arms to the links. A little bit tricky. You can bend the top of the body over to allow you to get the paper fastener through. Notice again I've got all the legs coming towards the back. And then the other one. I'm making this look easier than it actually is. My D&T Club are year two and three. I think I'm probably going to have to give them quite a lot of support. And then check that your mechanism is working fine. You can actually get quite a lot of control out of this. You can get one arm to move and not the other arm together like this. So uh, we've nearly finished. Um, we're now going to glue the head on and we're going to glue the head on so that it covers up the, the heads of the two paper fasteners and the writing. You could use um, Pritt stick. Um, I've got a glue gun handy, it's quicker. Let's just put some glue over the top there and glue the head on. There we go. And if I hold the head we've now got a nice animated snowman. We can control the arms. We might even be able to make one arm move and not the other. We've got quite a lot of control there. And um, I hope I hope it goes well tomorrow in D&T Club, I'm sure it will, and I hope you enjoy uh, making them. Uh, Merry Christmas!